Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Amazing. <laughs> I'm here to try and record another live 2D tutorial. If I sound a bit stuffy, I'm sorry. My nose is a little runny, but no matter, no matter. Um, I got a comment on one of my other videos talking about I need to learn how to make a cat slash fox type mouth move from Sato. Um, and it made me interested in a mouth tutorial kind of video because I can talk about making a cat fox type mouth move but also explain sort of the reasons why we do the mouth parameters the way we do because I think a lot of people see this kind of mouth chart right and they just do oh that's not in front <laughs> and they just kind of do it exactly to a T, you know, you do the 1.0 to 0, 0.0 for the mouth open parameters, that's what it says here, and this one says uh, mouth form and they'll just generally copy a lot of these shapes, but people don't always know why and it'll look pretty good even if you do it like this, but if you can have a deeper understanding of why we do this, it might Help your life 2D brain grow strong! <laughs> so yeah! So, uh, a tweet that I found interesting was this one by Kuratsu that is about how he made this PSD that, as you can see, I made my own here and I'll show a little bit of how I made it in a little bit, but he did this one, two, three, four, five, five point, <laughs> five point mouth open and mouth form parameter visualization. So what this is, you can kind of see it in these little thumbnails here. I'll link the tweet down below and it'll help you understand it a bit better. But it'll show you in whatever tracking program that you're using. For example, I'm using VTube Studio. You might be using something like face rig or prpr live i i would i would recommend vtube studio above anything else be because of reasons but don't worry about that but we can see when we move our mouth in the face tracking program what exactly keyframes it's hitting so let me just show you that might be easier <laughs> okay so I hid the stuff in front and I changed to the model that I made with this PSD kind of like Kuratsu's original one and to just quickly explain the keyframes that are going vertical are the mouth open keyframes so you can see when I open and close my mouth <laughs> it goes up and down and then the horizontal keyframes the mouth form ones so if I smile or frown, you'll see it go left to right. So when I smile, it's on the right hand side like this. If I kind of frown at my best as best I can, it'll go to the left like this. <laughs> and so like you can imagine that this smiling face here that you get, like, I'm showing you the, the tracking of my face. It's not exactly what I look like, but you can kind of see how my mouth is moving. <laughs> it's this smiling open mouth. It will go to the top right corner, just like in this chart. So this chart is relatively accurate. I can show you right now. <laughs> but I still think it's worth doing this yourself so you can see the intricate little details. Let's try this one. This is the E sound. So it's when you kind of have your mouth open a little bit but your teeth are showing like this and you can see it pretty much falls perfectly on this keyframe where it's showing here and then let's try doing an oh uh like this mouth like oh like octopus oh <laughs> it's like oh you can also see here that it is very similar the only difference when I make that ah, oh, ah, oh, ah oh, <laughs> kind of face. So just to make sure, I didn't write numbers. I really should have written numbers now that I think about it. But when I'm making that ah oh, face, that's at zero point 
zero for the mouse form so it is the same as this column just in case you're wondering this one is 0 0.5 because this is how i often set up my own mouse parameters but sometimes i'll only do it with nine i think that you can do most models with only nine keyframes and it's still gonna look really good anyway so you can do it with 16 or more. I've seen people do it with so many keyframes, but a lot of the time it's not really necessary. Just understanding the basic positions that you need to the mouth to lie in, like the frowns is on the left hand side because uh, that's how the tracking software works. And the other problem is with these kinds of charts is a lot of them are very old and they're made for face rig and face rig's tracking is just slightly different to vtube studios so it's better to try this yourself and see what kind of results that you can get and <laughs> i'm gonna stop torturing you with this creepy blue face now <laughs> okay 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 so i also wanted to show a quick process on how to well how i did a very simple mouth rigging and I'll share the PSD for you guys if you want to try it yourself as practice but I kind of wanted to showcase how that mm, if you want to do a cat like face it might be better to do like so I have this is the preview of the PSD that I drew for the rigging but you can kind of see I did it in a more straight mouth line rather than doing it as a kind of cat mouth that looks like a sideways three <laughs> from the start because I think it's easier if you start from a straighter line than starting from the cat-like mouth because it's harder to make that cat-like mouth straight than it is to make a straight line pointed if that makes sense <laughs> maybe it'd be better if i drew this out give me a second <laughs> okay so this is what i mean most people might think oh i'll draw this kind of sideways three mouth that looks like a cat's mouth and then i'll make it into these round shapes which you know, I think this mouth shape is pretty cute by itself, so it's not like it's the worst thing you can do. But I think it's easier going from this round sh shape, and then you can point it with the art mesh afterwards. And then, because you have it as this straight shape from as a base, you can easily make a rounded shape in the end anyway even if you make this pointed mouth shape. So, I just wanted to explain that you might be better off starting with this if you have problems with making this mouth shape into this kind of pointed cat's mouth you can go with this it's not like it's a major problem but i think it might be good practice in trying to manipulate mouth shapes from a simpler base if that makes sense <laughs> so i'm going to speed up the process because it took a while, but if you'd like to see the full process um, without sound and not sped up at all, I can upload that separately if you're curious about it. But I think most of it is pretty self-explanatory if you're at all familiar with Live 2D. But if you're a very beginner in Live 2D, it might be worth me uploading a regular version of those videos so yeah <laughs> i also want to say that they're it's not like the perfect mouth rigging either <laughs> i didn't spend too long i think it was only like one hour but yeah have fun watching that yay thank you